And while most of us are saving up our annual leave for a relaxing break on a tropical island, our next guests have decided on an epic adventure to raise money for an important cause. Here to tell us all about it, Candice Murphy and her mum Vivian Blake. And we are joined as well by Van Henderson from the Breast Cancer Foundation. Good morning to you guys. Good morning, Mel. Lovely to have you in the studio. This okay. sounds awesome. Uh, Candice, tell us where you're heading to. So, over the course of five days, we're going to be trekking the Great Wall of China um, in an attempt to, well, and to raise money for the New Zealand Breast Cancer Foundation. Wow, what a cool journey. Mm. Uh, Vivian, this is actually a massive fundraising task for you. So, you tell me a little bit about that. How's it all going and what you have to do? Absolutely amazing. Um, we're blown away by the efforts to date and the generosity of people. Our target was 7,000. We decided to raise the bar to 10, and today we're sitting on just over 13. That so is fantastic. It's great. And how have you been raising it? Um, oh, a lot of lot of ways really. Um, we've got a major sponsor, Candice's Work, Simpson Western, our, our, our major sponsor. Um, they put on a, a jeans day and uh, a breakfast. Pink ribbon pink breakfast. Ribbon breakfast yeah. yep. uh, we've done a pink ribbon garage sale. Uh, we've sold things on Trade Me from work. Um, We've had raffles. We oh, had um, a fabulous, fabulous um, opportunity from work. One of the ladies, um, she designed a quilt or made a quilt, and we're wow. raffling that. So, um, yeah, oh, so that's a beautiful idea. Yeah. So, and now it's all becoming reality. Um, Van, how important are fundraising efforts like this for you? Absolutely huge. Um, we rely entirely on on fundraising for for our work. Mm -hmm. We don't get any government funding, so supporting women with breast cancer. And of course research, because without research there's going to be no improvement. So, you know, our, our vision is zero death from breast cancer, and so research is very important. The fundraising therefore is huge, so thank you very much ladies, it's a, a, a massive difference. Thank mm. you. Gosh, and a zero, zero death from breast yeah. cancer, that will yeah. obviously, the sooner that can arrive the better. Absolutely. For everyone. So yeah. many people affected by this, whether they're family or, or themselves. Um, Candice, fundraising, obviously huge effort. Does it make the travel all the more satisfying for you? So much more satisfying. When I embarked on this adventure, this challenge, I didn't appreciate the time commitment that was going to be involved. Um, my partner in a law firm, I've got young children, um, and I didn't quite appreciate the training and fundraising um, in energies that needed to go into it but as mum said the generosity from people the amount that we've raised mm. um, and knowing what it's going towards has made it just so much more satisfying. Whose idea was it? It was mine. Because <laughs> <laughs> you haven't got enough on your plate. I didn't think mum would actually say yes so um, she surprised me and, and here we are. Good one, yeah. um, so you needed to train obviously for this great walk. Absolutely yeah it's really personal for Candice and I. Um, Five years ago, I was diagnosed with breast cancer, and at the same time, Candice was due to have her um, baby born. So um, Nixon came into the world five years ago, and as I was undergoing my surgery, he fortunately, he decided to come a week early <laughs> so we could spend time together. So um, the training, yeah, I can't count the number of steps that we've, um, we've um, or stairs that we've, Mm. I see you've all Sorry. got you've all you've all got um, <laughs> measuring watches on there. I see, so you can yes, see yeah. exactly how many steps you do. do. Absolutely, that's yeah. very very important. Are you actually walking upstairs, or are you just doing the miles around the neighbourhood? Uh, both. We're actually taking the steps two at a time because you know the, the steps aren't they're mm. not small steps. It's quite an intrepid journey. This. Because you've got you're going to the parts that aren't necessarily yes. all done up. For so the yeah, day, yeah. So we're going up. On, I think on the third day at, at a particularly steep section of the wall, which is called Sky Ladder. And we have seen photos of what we're in store for, and, and I can't say that we're not facing some sort of nervousness at that. And um, the fourth day, we're taking over a thousand steps. Oh wow! Okay, we can see it right yeah. there. Yeah. Oh, right, that yeah. is a rather steep, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Skyladder seems yeah. like a very good name for it. A very good name. And our fourth day start at the trek starts with over a thousand steps just to start the day off. So it is a big challenge. Oh, um, how exciting yeah, though! And what a great much. thing to fundraise for. Um, Van, what's your advice for others who want to travel for a cause? Just quickly. It's a great idea because a lot of people have these ideas on on their bucket lists to do. Um, but when you're with other people, it just makes it actually a lot more pleasant, and you make great friends whilst yeah. you're there. We have we, great stories. We hear great stories of people who made you know great friends, and you keep on seeing mm. each other after the yeah. event as well. Um, and you know the push; it's a challenge for individuals, so it gives people something to work towards as mm. well. And it's going to be very memorable as well. Well, it's been a pleasure talking to you all. Best of luck. Looking forward you. to seeing the photos. Now, if you would like to donate to this great cause, you can go to their Take Action page at takeaction.org.nz and look for their pink ribbon trek.